breaking news comes to us out of a small town in Kentucky, very near land between the lakes, where shots rang out at a high school this morning. The deadly attack happened in Benton, Kentucky, west of Katy's. That's not too far from Murray or Paducah, Kentucky. A gunman opened fire this morning at Marshall County High School, and at least one person is dead. Several others have been hurt. Reports from the scene indicate the person who died is a student and that as many as seven people have been injured. Sky 5 is also there, and this is some of the video they're sending back to us right now. Minutes ago, we saw a dozen school buses likely taking uninjured students who were at school to another location. Kentucky's governor says he is in shock and that it's just unbelievable this would happen in such a small small, close-knit community. Governor Matt Bevan is asking residents to come alongside each other in support and prayer. Again, at least one dead at this school shooting in Benton, Kentucky. Our Sarah McCarthy is live now at Vanderbilt Medical Center here in Nashville, where some of the victims were airlifted earlier this morning. Sarah, what can you tell us? Well, Vicki, we have seen three victims land here at Vanderbilt, and LifeLight tells us that a fourth is actually on the way. We have seen these helicopters really land in waves here this morning. The first victim landed here at 945 on the helipad that you see just above me there. The second landed about 20 minutes later, and a third arrived just minutes after that. I want to take a look at some video and show you what we've seen. We're told as those helicopters landed, trauma teams were on standby, waiting to determine exactly how badly these victims are hurt. And that is information we are still working to get. Right now, we don't know the names, ages, or gender of any of the victims, but we are working very closely with Vanderbilt to get as many details as possible. What we do know is that a majority of victims were brought by air evac, which means these helicopters did not fly from Vanderbilt to Marshall County. These helicopters are stationed around the area and respond to emergencies based on who is closest, which can obviously save time and possibly save lives in a situation like this. I'm also told it is likely that the families of these victims are driving here as they are typically not transported in the helicopters with victims. So those families are likely still on the road trying to make their way to Vanderbilt as quickly as possible. I told you earlier we are working with Vanderbilt to gather more details. We are also hoping to speak with some of the trauma doctors that are working on this tragedy, and we hope to bring you updates from them later on today. But for now, we are live at Vanderbilt reporting in Nashville. Sarah McCarthy, News Channel 5. Sarah, thank you. Now stay with News Channel 5 on air, online, and on social. We'll have up-to-the-minute information on this deadly school shooting throughout the day.